Let's move on to our final guest speaker for today, namely the Managing Director of Tempest Minerals, Mr. Don Smith. Now, Don is someone who hey, we've uh, had quite a lovely little um, collaboration here with, with Calkine for some time now. So it's great to have him here once more. And for those of us who are attending today and who might not be 100% across what Don does, well, he's a geologist and entrepreneur with over 20 years of experience in the mining industry. He's worked in operational development, exploration and consultant roles across more than 10 different countries and numerous commodities, including base and precious metals, and also, of course, energy minerals. Now, Don's corporate experience includes project acquisition, financing and development and company management. And of course, he is the current managing director of Tempest Minerals. And so to tell us exactly what Tempest is doing and how it all works in with the space of this green transition, I'll now throw it over to yourself, Don. The floor is yours, mate. Thanks a lot, James. And uh, thanks to Ian Shubham for giving us a great uh, uh, prelude. It's uh, gonna be hard to, uh, to top those ones. Uh, I'd also like to thank Calcine and, and indeed the audience for joining us. Uh, so Tempest, uh, many of you may be familiar with us uh, doing exploration here in Western Australia with uh, also a lot of uh, exposure to projects internationally. There's a disclaimer that anyone can read in their own time. Uh, a bit about our company. So uh, on the left, you can see we've got our main focus is here in Western Australia. We're a copper, gold and, and lithium explorer. Uh, and you can see that over the last, I don't know, six months or so, six to 12 months, we've proven our, our exploration creeds by making multiple mineralization discoveries. Uh, we also, uh, similar to what Sean was saying, we, we're not averse to having uh, investments in, in other companies and other projects. And I'll be talking a bit about more of those later. Uh, in company-wise, we've got an experienced team uh, fantastic uh, jurisdiction here in Western Australia and we have big focus on science and technology and, and also the, the sustainability of, of what we do. We've got a, a, a modest uh, capex at the moment there considering uh, the quality of the projects we've got and uh, yeah we've got about 7 million, uh, 7 million cash uh, minus uh, investment we made uh, but the numbers haven't been audited yet for the September. In terms of the team I mentioned earlier, uh, many of you will be familiar with Brian Moller, who's our chair. He's uh, quite uh, quite renowned in the industry for making quite a few uh, large uh, exploration and development companies, including Solgold PLC. Got myself, uh, Andrew Haythorpe, who's a geologist and, and financer, and MD of a number of companies at the moment. And we've got Owen Birchall, who's an experienced engineer and uh, uh, currently, sorry about that, currently uh, bringing the Abata Resources IPO onto the market. Uh, in, on our side here, we've got Paul Perjum, our uh, company secretary, is a fantastically experienced uh, accountant and company secretary, and Tim Bevis, who's not long joined us this year, uh, acting as senior geologist, and he's been making a, a lot of inroads, uh, bringing uh, wide diverse thought process into, into our exploration. I mentioned earlier we, we're keen on sustainability. I think everyone uh, in the industry is heading in this direction, but we've, we've made it a core from the very start of, of what we do. So a very strong focus on uh, minimizing our environmental impact. One of the ways we do that is by uh, making much smaller uh, impact when we're doing exploration in the field through innovative techniques, such as using small drill rigs and, and uh, technologies which, which reduce our impact on the environment. We've also got close working relationship with all our local communities and stakeholders. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, our experienced team, we've all been there and done that and that ensures that our corporate governance is uh, top notch. Technology is a big focus of, of Tempest and I guess it's a, almost a, a circular thing going forward in that we, we need more minerals to supply the technology, which will be uh, critical to everything going forward and we use that technology to find the minerals which we're supplying them. Uh, some of the ways we're doing that, we're what the uh, first user, first public user of the box scan, Geotech box scan technology, which is an automated core and sample storage uh, system here. And uh, it, it does a, a wide array of sensors such as XRF, uh, 
uh, hyperspectral, mag magnetic susceptibility, imagery, all these things, and it does it all automat automatically in, in one go, in one unit, uh, which has reduced our overheads and particularly our labour costs. Uh, you can see a phone here on the right, which we we use extensively in the field. So we're a paperless company. Everything we do is digital and uh, goes straight into our cloud. And of course, many people in the industry are using drones and such things in the field. On to our projects. Uh, this is a lovely picture from Christmas two years ago, drilling into one of our high priority projects called Wheelode, which has some high grade gold at the surface there. Bit of an overview of where we're working. As I mentioned earlier, we're focused in Western Australia, but we also have uh, strong investments in PNG, Africa, and North America. Our current focus, Western Australia, we've got about a thousand square kilometres across our portfolio. Uh, they're spread across the Mount Magnet, Yelgu, and Yilgarn lithium exploration zones. And you can see we are very active at the moment. We've got three drill programs in progress, a uh, total of about 15,000 meters. And of course, uh, we're also a multi-commodity and de-risk company. So I'm not a big believer in commodity focus for a company. Uh, yes, it makes sense for, for producers, but you've got to keep your mind open when you're looking for things. On to Yelgu, which is our, our definitely our focus. You can see it's quite a large holding there. And in between these very large spheres we have here, they're all world-class mines. And we've got a large land holding in between and around these projects. And it's not just neurology. We've actually re, uh, remodeled the geology for much of this region. And one of the reasons it appealed to us in the first place is the, the large amount of mines there, but it has fantastic infrastructure, road, water, power, uh, telecoms, so a very low bar to, to moving forward with our uh, project development. Our current main exploration focus is the Malaya project. So some of you may know that we made a mineralization discovery earlier in the year at the uh, Orion target here in the center. Uh, that was a magnetite copper and uh, plus or minus other base metal uh, mineralization. Unfortunately, the grades weren't as high as we, we anticipated, but uh, that hasn't stopped us. We've got 50 kilometres or more of ground that has never been explored. Uh, this is due to a uh, mislabeling or a poor uh, poor analysis of the, the data in the past, and that's that's our opportunity. So we, in addition to Orion, we've, uh, we're now drilling at the Clover target here. Or we, if we haven't started today, we will in the next 24 hours. Um, and we recently just finished drilling at the master target, which we announced a, a day or so ago, where we've hit mineralization in every single hole that we've drilled so far. So there's only three holes in an entirely new greenstone belt here, and uh, with mineralization in all of them so far, which is pretty good track record and pretty exciting for what we might find going forward. I uh, mentioned earlier the work we did already. So uh, there was the two holes we drilled out of Ryan. We also did a, a EM survey, which uh, showed that there is a, a substantial pod style mineralization there. We're assessing what, how we're going to uh, look at that going forward. We just met, finished drilling at the master target, uh, did a, a mere 450 meters there. Uh, that was just to test a target, which has been a high priority for us for some time. And as I mentioned earlier, we announced a few days ago that that had some uh, low level sulfides and silicified shear zones, which means it's quite exciting for, for copper gold and, and other commodities. Uh, in terms of geophysics, we, we take quite a focus on that in the middle of this year. Since we did the Orion drilling, we've done uh, the EM survey I just mentioned. We've also done an EPR, electroparamagnetic survey, which is a, a bit of an unconventional one that not many people are doing, but it's come up with at least 250 signals, which uh, we definitely need to follow up. So some of those coincide with exploration targets we have already, which is pretty exciting. In terms of uh, things that we have going on, well, the, the targets that we can attack at Malaya, you can see here, we've got the greenstone belt that I mentioned has never been explored. It's never had a lease on it before. And we've got literally, that, that doesn't even scratch the surface, that picture. We've got dozens and dozens of targets that we're, we're keen to drill. So one of the ways we're going to attach that is, uh, attack that I should say, is uh, to do a widespread uh, air core program over the top of the, pretty much the entire belt. And that's coming up towards the end of the year. 
at the start of the year or the end of last year, we were working at the Euro project. And this is an exciting one. It's a little bit less green field. Parts of it are less than less green fields than Malaya, but it's uh, got a significant historic gold drilling there. So there's hundreds of holes of green field there, and you can see some fantastic results of 17 meters at a gram, seven meters at three. And these were never really followed up because gold was worth $200 an ounce when that work was done, not 2000 like it is now. And uh, we did some drilling there in December, January, and also hit uh, gold, but we also hit a bunch of polymetallic mineralization in that drilling. And that's really put us back, uh, not in a negative way, but put us back at the drawing board to try and understand what the geology is that's going on there. And our current thought is that it's probably some sort of scarn. And that's exciting because they usually come in fairly large, uh, large style of mineralization. Uh, similar to what I just said, uh, there's some of the, the polymetallic stuff that we found there, uh, a bunch of copper, zinc, even arsenic and, and iron. And given we're next door, uh, near a couple of kilometres away from one of the largest iron ore mines in, in, in Western Australia, then uh, the, the presence of iron is, is curious to say the least. Uh, we also, just to uh, push the envelope a bit more, we've just a few months ago signed a MOU with Carrara Mining who, who own the said iron ore mine and uh, their focus is on production of iron ore and uh, they recognise our exploration uh, that we're doing good work and the deal is that we are going to earn in for 70% of the land which extends our Euro project to the north. We also have a, a critical holding here in Mount Magnet. Uh, Mount Magnet is probably an area that more people are familiar with. It's uh, produced a huge amount of gold over the last hundred years and uh, the, the main player there is, is Remilius Resources who the operations you can see in the uh, foreground of that picture. Our land holding here is this blue picture, a uh, blue area in the middle of the picture and it's only a few kilometres away from uh, multiple processing facilities there in Mount Magnet. We know there is mineralisation at the project. Uh, we've been doing a lot of mapping and uh, geochem recently, and we're looking to do some drilling there uh, next year. So we think there's a good chance of making a, a discovery here and providing additional mill feed to the, to the local producers. So there's been quite a bit of uh, noise about our uh, interest in Papua New Guinea in the last few months as well. Uh, where we announced that we were uh, going to merge with Lolle Mining. Unfortunately, we we're unable to continue or complete our due diligence in time for some key milestones there, but we've still decided to make a, a $1 million investment in the project, uh, which gives us a, a substantial holding in, in Lolle Mining as they move forward with various uh, corporate and development activities. And the big one there is the development of the Tolakuma gold mine. Previously, it produced uh, more than a million ounces of gold and several million ounces of silver. And there's a uh, very large resource remaining there that is yet to be upgraded to the Dwarf 2012 standard. So we cannot report it, but we're looking forward to uh, informing the market when, when that occurs very soon. Uh, there's also some fantastic exploration ground at Mount Penk in the north here and uh, it's right next door to some large developments and, and everyone who's worked in that area knows that there is a lot of gold going on there. So even big companies like BHP were involved there uh, not that long ago and uh, they had to pull out for their own reasons. Um, but uh, we're very excited to see what could go on there. It could be a comp company developer in its own, own right. So Tempest started off its journey as a lithium company. So I mentioned our sustainability credibility earlier, and uh, this is part of it. So we're, we're big believers in the electric future and, and critical minerals and lithium being a, a core of that. So we have our own lithium projects here in Western Australia. The one we've done the most work on recently is Rocky Hill, where we've done a swag of soil sampling and mapping and come up with some most curious uh, anomalous lithium numbers and, and other elements as well, uh, well above the abundance you would expect in the, uh, the crust or the earth as, as a general. So there's definitely something going on there and that has prompted us to take a larger land holding there where we've uh, essentially quadrupled our land holding up to about 260 kilometers. Uh, a large amount of that's pending. 
but yeah, we're pretty excited to see where that leads. Although lithium is not our, our core focus at the moment, it is a, a very important part of our, uh, our portfolio. And you can see in uh, Australia, we've got a number of projects in, in application, which uh, are part of our project portfolio as an exploration company. Uh, we also have exposure internationally and with the, the high profile Turner Power project, which is uh, being developed by Argosy Minerals. We have a milestone payment due if they uh, reach certain, certain milestones uh, in that development. We also have a large shareholding in Premier Africa Minerals, who uh, have a number of lithium and other critical mineral projects in, in Africa there. What's next? So I've mentioned earlier, we've got quite a bit going on. It's, uh, it's a pretty hectic time and for many explorers in the industry, including us. Uh, as you can see here, we've got people in the field almost almost full time, non-stop. Uh, we've got just finished drilling program earlier in the year. We've got uh, two driller programs going on at the moment and uh, we anticipate that'll be going uh, non-stop into, into 2023, along with a, a number of other developments, which looking forward to updating the market on in the coming months. Also doing a lot of promotions such as uh, this fantastic webinar, and uh, we'll be attending a couple uh, conferences, including iMark and digitalization in mining uh, towards the end of this year. And of course, uh, as with all companies, where we have uh, many ways uh, to contact us. Here's our social media on the right, our contacts on the left, and we've also just soft launched a, a new website. So we'll be officially launching that next week, uh, but everyone can go check it out if they want. And we have an investor hub there where uh, investors and people interested in Tempest can interact directly with, with the company. Thank you so much for that presentation. And